Welcome back. All right, so another quick news of the day video before we get to tonight's action. Busy night in the NHL and all of that. So waiver wire news, the Tampa Bay Lightning have claimed Riley Nash on waivers from the Winnipeg Jets. So that solidifies their fourth line, I guess. I'm not sure why they don't like Barry Boulay. I, I, there's got to be some defensive issues there that they don't like. But he got sent down to the AHL, and they're they're bringing Nash back. So, uh, you know, I, I guess that's that's it for Barry Boulay at this point. Uh, Kevin Connaughton was claimed on waivers by the Philadelphia Flyers from the Florida Panthers. So that's a little bit of defensive depth there for for the Flyers. Basically, he's a number six, number seven player. And uh, the Panthers, you know, as guys get healthy and come back, you have to put somebody on waivers. You got to make room on the twenty-three man roster. So we'll see how Connaughton does in Philly. Uh, two players on waivers today. Harrington's been waived by Columbus. I'd be a little bit surprised if he clears. And Perlini's been waived by the Oilers. It's too bad. Perlini had a really good preseason. He was fantastic in the preseason. And the regular season, it just it hasn't been the same. So uh, Perlini on waivers. He probably clears and ends up in the AHL. Unless a team like maybe a team that already knows him, like Chicago or Arizona, takes a chance on him. But uh, yeah, I think Perlini probably ends up in the minors. Uh, the Washington Capitals today, they uh, canceled their practice. So they've got, I think it's three players currently in protocol. Uh, they do, Nobody else has been added, but they want to make sure nobody else gets added. They don't play again until Friday. So they canceled today's practice, and they'll likely get back on the ice tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so the Capitals, they're trying to make sure they don't end up in the Islanders slash Ottawa Senators position. And so they they're, it's the abundance of caution bit, right? Uh, so Pionk's in concussion protocol. I do find this interesting. So there's a lot of people taking victory laps over him being in concussion protocol and it serves him right. And there's echoes of this. And it, it echoes back to... So everybody remembers Bertuzzi for the punch on Steve Moore. And and I remember everybody said, Bertuzzi's got to be out of the league. They've got He's got to go. He's got to go. He's got he's to be suspended forever. But what people seem to forget is how that started. So Steve Moore... Uh, throws a hit on Marcus Nasland that Canuck fans felt was dirty. The league did nothing about it. And the Canucks were very clear in between the one meeting with Colorado and the next one that they were going to do something about it. Coaches, players, everybody was clear that if they got a shot at Steve Moore, that they'd take him out. Now, Steve Moore, to his credit, fought early in that game. He had already fought. And Bertuzzi wanted to fight him and, and, and take him out again, right? And so Moore had no intention of fighting with Bertuzzi, so that's when the sucker punch happens. Everybody remembers the punch. What led to it was this vitriolic hate towards Steve Moore that came from Canuck fans, from the coaches, from the players, and it boiled over. And it ended up with Steve Moore never playing hockey again. It ended up with Steve Moore not being able to walk off the ice, and it was one of the ugliest incidents in the history of the National Hockey League. And the vitriol I'm seeing right now towards Pionk really reminds me of that. And so the, the Leafs don't play the Jets again until March. There's a lot of time between now and then. And hopefully all of this just dies down because it really can happen again. And this idea of, well, the NHL won't police it. We have to. It's the same thing Canuck fans said back then. It's the same thing the Canucks said back then. It's the same thing coaches said back then. And I would expect the league... If that, if that comes out from players at some point or if coaches say anything about it, I would expect the lead to come in and say, okay, you got to dial this down. Um, I understand people being upset with, with incidents during the game. I get it. But it it just it ramps up to this, this insane level. And so, yeah, uh, Pionk's going to be out beyond the two games suspension. He just won't get paid for the two games he's suspended. And uh, so he's going to be out longer than that. So... Uh, again, the 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 escalation and the, well, this is just because there were plenty of Canuck fans that when Bertuzzi threw that punch on Steve Moore, felt it was justified. And then it just, it became this, this huge moment. And because it was this huge moment, people forgot that there were plenty of people who were calling for Steve's Moore's, Steve Moore's head on a plate before that. And it was an overreaction. It was an overreaction at the time. I think there's some of that now as well. And so again, um, I'm I'm just I'm seeing some of it, and it's it's just it's kind of echoes there. And yeah, so hopefully cooler heads prevail in all this. So we'll see what Spezza gets, and hopefully that's the end of it. All right, 
Uh, also, uh, interesting way of looking at things tonight. Zdeno Chara basically saying tonight's visit to Ottawa may be his last. So he's in there with the Islanders. Uh, it is a game between two teams that have poor records, but the fact that it might be Chara's last visit to uh, to Ottawa as a player makes it noteworthy. And uh, yeah, so uh, you know, check that out. I'll see if they do some kind of a video package to him and all that, because it's at four o'clock, there's four games starting. So yeah, I should be able to catch that. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that all works out. But uh, again, uh, some of the, well, they have to take take the law into their own hands talk. That's, it, it gets into that dangerous territory. And, and I really hope that doesn't happen because um, you, you can end up in a situation where a player ends up paralyzed or never playing the game again. And so that's that's an escalation beyond where I think we really want it to go. And even though there will likely be people who say, oh, that's fine, doesn't bother me. Yeah, people said that with Moore back then too. And it, it's it's still, it, it, at the, then after it happened, all the, I, all, of, all of that discussion changed after that took place. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for all the support throughout. And uh, it's, it's a little warmer here today. So I can't even really say snowy because there really isn't any left because it doesn't last around here. But hey, thank you guys again. I will talk to you after the games.